Okay, so this is how I rip my discs, my CDs, using exact audio copy. So first off, uh, I have FUBAR 2000. This is where I have all my CDs and stuff. This is kind of a weird like little quirk of FUBAR, at least maybe mine that I have installed. Don't have your actual library open. Make sure that you have like a different playlist open because when the CD you put it in and it auto plays, it's gonna overwrite this playlist. So today I'm going to rip Minor Threat by Minor Threat, the complete collection. Um, so first we're going to pop her in there. And there it is. And I'm gonna close this. So now, uh, it crashed, don't care. So now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to my albums here. And I'm gonna make a new folder. And this is gonna be minor threat complete uh, collection, I think it's called. I also, I tend to add them, complete discography, to my uh, discogs here so that I can, you know, have everything organized. Disco discography, right? Yeah, okay. So, what I like to do here is I'm like very nerdy about this. So you can see all of these different like CDs. These are all of the different like versions I have. So I do the artist first, then the name of the album, the year that the album was made, the format, which I'm getting these from Flax or I'm making these into Flax. And then the pressing is the last one. Those are these like random number that the numbers at the end. So Mr. Minor Threat, this was released in 1989. 1989, and it's going to flack. And this is Discord 40, Discord 40. And then I'm gonna copy that and now we're gonna open this up. And uh, downloads open. I have, where the hell did even all of these things download to? I thought I downloaded them. Oh well, maybe they downloaded somewhere else, like in here. Wow, I don't know why it's downloading in there. It's fine. Uh. Whatever, there it is. So I'm gonna take this and we're gonna go to Minor Threat. I'm gonna put the album cover in here and then we're gonna open exact audio copy. Now, I don't really have the know with all to give you or tell you how to like, like walk you through the setting setup, but I'll show you through here. So. I have the 2003 pressing. I just click one of these. Okay, now really quick, we're gonna look through all these options. You can pause and copy all of this stuff. Make sure to copy this, like exactly. Uh, drive options, oh, okay, this is what I'm doing here. You can also find this, I'll link a uh, thing on the bottom in the description here to the website that I used to copy all this stuff so that you don't have to like do anything here, like pause all the time, but I'm just doing this anyway. Okay. So now once it's in here, you've chosen it, 
you're gonna go to audio detect gaps or action detect gaps it's gonna spin up in the CD drive and it's gonna detect the gaps easy peasy this is very important because it'll help with a gapless play like play black play back and then This is kind of important. Remember how we copy pasted or we copied this, like the name here? So I copy that. And then once this is done, now we have to make the cue sheet so that the files can be good. So we're gonna go to create cue sheet multiple wave files with gaps dot 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 non-compliant click that excuse my little doggy albums go to the album and then you're going to save it in the folder with the album and typically i save it as the same name as the folder that's why i copied it and then once that's done you go to action test and copy tracks compressed shift f6 and make sure it's saved into there, which it should be by default. And okay. And that's it. Now you just wait for the whole entire thing to uh, finish. <laughs> that's it. It takes a long time because it's exact audio copy. Um, the time it takes depends on how long the album is. So if it's kind of long like this one, it'll take a while. Um, if it's even longer, it'll take even longer. Usually, for me, it takes about as long as the actual album is. So if the album is like an hour long, it'll take an hour to rip. So I'm going to pause here and I'll come back. Uh, when it's done. Well, actually, I'll just show you here because I don't feel like waiting to do this. I'll forget. So I also have this thing, MP3 tag. This is really good because for some godforsaken reason, the um, this thing, it, it like it downloads the album cover from that like first step or whatever and puts it in the folder, but it doesn't attach it to the actual files. So if you want to have album art, you have to drag and drop the files into here. So we go into the like folder, right? So we're already on track two. So I'll just do this with track one filler. You drag it in and then see if you click on it, it's, there's nothing here. So you right click here, add cover, and you put it in and you click save. And now it has album art. So usually what I do is I wait until the entire album is done ripping and then I drag and drop the whole thing in. Uh, Control A, select all, and then add cover and go to the cover, that's it. So yeah, there you go. That's how you create your own uh, stuff, your own library of albums and songs from ripped CDs. That's how I do it without losing any quality from the CDs. Uh, yeah. See you later.